students once again i welcome you we are learning chapter 4 that is fight in my first video we discussed from chapter 1 sorry paragraph 1 to paragraph 19 so today we shall begin from paragraph 20 we came to know that the fight is going to be held in tompkins square park the local junior high school across from tompkins square park served as the dressing room for all the fighters the loud speakers blared into the open windows of the school there were speeches of by dignitaries community leaders and great boxers of yesteryear this great day was in the traditions of champions emerging from the streets of the lower east side so in paragraph 20 we see that the schools nearby tompkins square park was arranged for the dressing room for the fighters there were so many fighters who were going to fight but the main event was between antonio cruz and felix vargas and before the fight the dignitaries community leaders and great boxers of the past year were giving speeches speeches most probably encouraging the fighters to fight neatly in the ring and the day had come for a great champion who will come from the lower background from the poor background of the society felix was accompanied from the classroom by a dozen fans in the white t-shirts with the word felix across their front so we know that felix had also his good followers and they were accompanying him to the ring and felix was wearing white t-shirts and on it big words in big words felix was written antonio was escorted down a different stairwell and guided through a rope of path so the antonio too was accompanied through a different route and the antonio also had great number of followers that's so why he was escorted guided through the roof path as the two come climbed into the ring the crowd exploded with a roar antonio and felix bowed gracefully and raised their arms in acknowledgement bong 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 the roar turned to stillness so both the friends once they got inside the ring when crowd was roaring shouting encouraging they acknowledged their encouragement by raising their arms and there is a bell bong 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 that means some announcement will take place or most probably the match will start let us see what happens ladies and gentlemen the announcer spoke slowly in this corner weighing 100 34 pounds felix vargas and in this corner weighing 133 pounds antonio cruz the winner will represent the boys club in the tournament of the champions the golden gloves there will be no draw may the best man win so the announcer announced about the tournament about the fighters so one felix vargas weighs 134 pounds and the another fighter antonio cruz weighs 133 pounds and it is declared before their fight that only one will win and one will represent the golden gloves the cheering of the crowd shook the window panes of the old buildings surrounding tompkins square park all the center at the center of the ring 
the referee was giving instructions to the youngsters. So after the announcement, the viewers, the audience shouted such a way that the window panes of the old buildings were shaking. Keep your punches up, no low blows, no punching on the back of the head. Keep your heads up, understand? Let's have a clean fight. Now shake hands and come out fighting. So the referee in the middle of the ring, referee is giving them the instructions that punch up, punch to the head. Don't punch below. Don't punch the back of the head. These are some of the places where the fighters should not fight. And referee is asking them to keep their heads up all the time and telling them to fight clean. Now both the fighters shook their hands and they took their positions. Both youngsters touched gloves and nodded. They turned and danced quickly to their corners. So after touching their gloves, they have come back to their corners, took the positions. Bong bong, so announcement. Round one. So now there will be a round one, first round fight. Felix and Antonio turned and faced each other in the in a fighting pose. They took the positions. Felix wanted no time, wasted no time. He came in fast, head low, half hunched toward his right shoulder and lashed out with a straight left. So Felix has given the first punch by his left hand. Antonio slipped the punch and countered with one, two, three laps that sent a mild shook coursing through Felix. So after avoiding the punches of Felix, Antonio has given straightly two to three fire left hand punches. And it was so heavy that Felix was shaken up. If Felix had any doubt about their friendship affecting their fight, it was being neatly dispelled. And the fight and the punches were such that Felix understood that their friendship is not the block between their fights. Fight will be the serious one. Antonio danced a joy behold. His left hand was like a piston punching jabs one right after another with seeming ease. Felix bobbed and weaved and never stopped boring in. So Antonio's left hand was like a piston, means it was very fast. And since he had given a solid punches through his left hand to Felix, he was sure that Felix was injured and he was sure that he would win the match. But then Felix also was not giving up. He was changing his directions from one corner to the another trying to avoid the punches of Antonio and he also was trying to push in, boring in means pushing in and he also wanted to give the solid punch to Antonio. Bong. The both fighters froze a punch well on its way, sending up a roar of approval of good uh, sportsmanship. So when the uh, bell rang, for the uh, round one, they stopped. They didn't punch. The uh, moment the bell rang, they stopped punching. And they saw each other for the approval for good sportsmanship. Felix and Antonio moved quickly to their respective corners. Watch that right, Tony. His trainer talked into his ear. You gotta get in there, fella. Felix trainer poured water over his curly afro looks. So once they 
went back to their respective corners their trainers are giving them some tips some directions bong bong round two Felix was off his stool and rushed Antonio like a bull, sending a harsh right to his head. Antonio hot, sent by a blaring barrage of lefts and rights. So in second round, we see that Felix has taken the advantage. He has given a solid punches to Antonio's head and Antonio was hurt and Antonio was trying to give punches after punches by his left and right hands to Felix. So students we saw in the first round Antonio had the advantage and in second round we saw it was Felix who had taken the advantage in that fight. So students please read again from paragraph 1 to paragraph 30 and read the paragraph ahead that we are going to discuss. So in next videos we shall discuss from paragraph 32. Until then read and take care. Thank you.